Hey guys, Gina back with another collections video and today we are going to be talking about Pez dispensers. I've got all of my Pez right here in my Renzi pumpkin, which is super awesome because it's got the extra detail on the back. I'm not sure why it's all glittered, but you know, I got it that way. <laughs> but let's take a closer look at all of these little guys. So I've got Pez dispensers all the way from the early 70s all the way up until 2018. Anytime I go to an estate sale, a garage sale, a thrift store, and I see a Halloween themed Pez dispenser, unless I already have like two or three of them, I generally pick them up because they're just so much fun and it definitely brings back that childhood nostalgia. And my son really likes filling them up and eating the candy inside, as long as it's not too old. <laughs> Let's start with a classic pumpkin. These Pez dispensers are from 1980. There's a green one and a white one. And the white one, or this clear color right here, glows in the dark. So that's always fun. It's just got your classic jack-o'-lantern face. Two little teeth right there. Tall on the back. The date. This one, this is the same, just a different color. This one doesn't have a date on it, but I'm gonna guess this is 90s or two, early 2000s. And it's a spooky little ghost, like a sheep ghost, huh? And he also glows in the dark. My oldest Pez dispenser is from 1971, and it's this skull right here. He is way cool. It's always fun and exciting when you get something like this from back in the day because I was so hard on some of my toys as a kid and I my Pez dispensers, they never lasted. I probably broke them from playing with them, like going like that too much or stepped on them or, you know, left out in the yard or something. But this one is another one. It's a little bit different from this one. I think this one glows in the dark, this one does not, but this one does not have a date on it. So this was probably a re-release of the classic one from 71. Then we have two witches. This one is an older witch. She's got a beautiful green face, classic witch hat, red little legs. Then we have this one. She glows in the dark. She's from 2003. You can see she got a little update. She's got bats on her feet. She's got a cool witch hat. I mean, even look at the little detail on the broom right there. She's got a little chunk taken out of it. And she's got a little snaggle tooth. <laughs> That's from 2003. This is a really cool one. Check out this cat. I love his collar with the little pumpkin on it. The body glows in the dark. This is from 2006. That's a very fun one. From 2003, we've got this happy pumpkin. I love his smile and his eyes. And he glows in the dark as well. Got two of the same pumpkins from 2012. Looks like the green is just a tad bit different on the feet. It is probably because they were poured at different times, but they are the same. Here we have an awesome bat from 2008. Check that out. I just love the wings. I love the face, but that is a really cool sculpt. And it glows in the dark, which is super fun. Anytime anything glows in the dark, it's just added bonus, right? I wanted to show you what these guys look like glowing in the dark have to say the skull is probably my favorite. 
And because I love Pez so much, I'm going to share my joy of Pez with the kids in the neighborhood. I got these 12 mini dispensers and they have six different designs and they're all individually wrapped so they'll be super fun to pass out to the kids. There's a pumpkin, a spider in a spooky web, a friendly ghost, a cute cat, a witch owl, and some bats. And of course, each one comes with yummy flavored Pez. You got orange, lemon, grape, and cherry. Mmm, I think the kids are really gonna enjoy that this year. And of course, I may have to keep a couple to add to my collection too. And last, we have Jack Skellington. This was super fun. A friend gave this to my son. They went to a Funko Pop pop-up gallery and they had a bunch of different characters and this is the one from a Funko Pop in 2018. There are some super old classic monster Pez dispensers that I would love to get my hands on someday. I'll keep digging throughout those toy boxes and toy bins at yard sales and estate sales to see if I can ever find one. <laughs> if you haven't seen them, you should definitely get online and check them out. They are so cool. Also, I know there's a bunch that I'm missing, so I'm gonna keep checking the sales and thrift stores for those. And in the meantime, you guys, I have a ton of other Pick or Treat videos. You can go look at my playlist and just let the videos roll. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.